Hi students, today we have to discuss the first electron displacement effect which we have mentioned in the previous class. There are four different types of electron displacement effects namely inductive effect, resonance or mesomeric effect, hyperconjugation as well as electromeric effect. In this class we discuss about inductive effect or I effect abbreviated as I effect. Now what is inductive effect? It is an electron displacement effect which operate only in sigma bond. So it is the electron displacement of sigma electrons permanently and it is because of electronegativity difference between the bonded atoms. So we, why the term inductive? Because polarity is induced in a sigma bond due to an adjacent polar sigma bond. For example, consider this. This CX bond per X is suppose it is a more electronegative atom or a group it will withdraw the electron towards it, the sigma electrons. This covalent bond contains sigma electron. It is attracted by this X strongly, acquiring, getting it a negative charge, slight negative charge. And there will be an equal and opposite charge, that is delta plus on this carbon. So this bond has become polar. Now this polarity will induce polarity in the neighboring bonds. Because when this is delta plus, electrons in this bond will be attracted towards it. So that this carbon get a positive charge which is smaller in magnitude than this. So double delta means smaller than this. And this polarity induces polarity in this bond also which is still smaller. Normally we neglect inductive effect after two bonds. There are four points to be noted with regard to inductive effect. One is that it is a permanent effect. It is there always in the molecule. And it operates only through sigma bond. And it requires presence of a polar bond. And again, it decreases with distance. Its magnitude decreases with distance and we neglect after two bonds. There are two types of inductive effect. One is called electron withdrawing inductive effect, that is what we discussed here, minus I effect. Here X can be these groups. See that most of the organic functional groups come under this category, like nitro group, CN, COOH, acid derivatives, aldehyde, ketone, all of them comes here. Then halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, then alkoxy, ether group, OH, pH that is phenyl group this is a decreasing order of strength of minus i groups so the most powerful minus i group is which one NO2 okay now whereas on the other hand electron donating inductive effect or plus i effect here this group y is less electronegative than carbon which happens seldom, very rarely. Anyway, if this is less electronegative or, or carbon is more electronegative, carbon will attract electrons of this sigma bond towards it, getting delta negative here, contrary to delta plus here. And this get delta plus. So this delta minus, which will induce polarity in the next bond, which become double delta minus, and in turn polarizes this bond and giving a triple delta minus diminishes the charge and vanishes after two bonds. Now the plus i groups you see here the groups are only alkyl groups like tertiary butyl group this is secondary butyl this is ethyl and methyl so the plus i effect decreases with 
decreasing branching there comes a question see that no functional group come here in plus i groups what is the reason behind this alkyl groups becoming plus i electron donating group let us consider for example you see i am taking methyl group methyl group connected to a carbon suppose this is y in place of y see here carbon connected to carbon there is no polarity here but carbon connected to hydrogen there is a slight electronegativity difference carbon has 2.5 electronegativity on polling scale and hydrogen is 2.1 very slight difference so this bond is slightly polar carbon more electronegative so electron will flow in this direction so there is electron flow from hydrogen towards carbon so that carbon get slight negative charge and that will make this carbon polar so altogether this methyl group is slightly electron pumping electron donating when there are more methyl groups there will be more electron donation so that's why tertiary butyl group is more electron donating than secondary it is like this see this methyl is electron pumping all the three methyls are electron pumping so this, it decreases in this direction okay now coming to application of inductive effect right that is uh, an important part of this discussion actually electron displacement effects have got substantial influence on the properties of molecules inductive effect has a lot of application here we discuss only one what is application application is with regard to acidity of aliphatic carboxylic acids let us uh, take the first example acetic acid we compare the acidity of acetic acid or ethanoic acid with chloroacetic acid you might be knowing this is a very easy question it is found that the pka value of acetic acid is 4.76 and that of chloroacetic acid is 2.85 which is more acidic this is more acidic so smaller the pka is stronger the acid why because you know acidity of an acid is given by ka value and pka is negative log of ka so when ka is larger acidity is more but when you take pka which is minus log of ka since it is negative log larger the ka smaller will be the pka correct so smaller the pka stronger the acid so which is stronger acid here chloroacetic acid why it is stronger the difference is there is a chlorine here and we know that chlorine is a minus i group so it will withdraw electron towards it right chlorine will be withdrawing electron and acidity of this carboxylic acid is because of the polarity of this oh bond you know that oh bond is highly polar because oxygen is electronegative and double up delta minus and this become delta plus this is highly polar so when we put it in water this oh bond eventually breaks and h plus will go into solution and this remaining part that is called acetate ion in general carboxylate ion will be there that is called conjugate base of this acid according to brown sudlowy concept so when chlorine comes here chlorine is minus i group so this see this polarity is because of this movement of electron right towards oxygen so it is like you know tug of war in a kambavali this oh is you know oxygen is pulling electrons away from hydrogen and this chlorine is supporting it so this oh bond will break more easily than in the case of acetic acid so chlorine is helping out this polarization that protonation this h plus is easily broken here so in short this minus i group so this is a minus i group right not that it's a minus i group 
minus i effect will increase acidity. So you have to note this point very clearly. Minus i effect increase acidity. Minus i effect increase acidity. Right? You can easily understand because minus i effect will withdraw electron and make this ice bond more polar and enhances protonation. That's a simple explanation. So naturally plus I effect will be decreasing acidity, right? You can come to acidic acid and see that this methyl group is having a plus I effect. So here plus I effect is going to, you know, uh, cancel this polarity and it will decrease the acidity. Okay. So there are three points to be noted here. One is this point, a general point I am telling. Minus I effect increases acidity and plus I effect decreases acidity. The other side of the coin is that minus I effect will decrease basicity and plus I effect will increase basicity that you may discuss somewhere else. Now another general rule is that, see, to explain the acidity of this acids, the best way and most conceptual way is to talk about stability of the conjugate base. So there is a general rule that stabler the conjugate base, stronger the acid. So the conjugate base is stable and the corresponding acid is strong. Because anything which is more stable is more likely to be formed. If it is stable and it is formed in the end. அப்போ அது ஒன்று இது பெட்ட நயனை செய்து தான் ஃபார்ம் செய்யும் அப்போ இதன் ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி ஆன அசிடிட்டிக்குள்ள மானதெண்டம் இ கான்ஜியட் பேஸ் மோர் ஸ்டேபிள் ஆனെങ്കിൽ ஆசிட் மோர் அசிடிக் ஆன கான்ஜியட் பேஸ் லெஸ் ஸ்டேபிள் ஆனെങ്കിൽ ஆசிட் லெஸ் அசிடிக் ஆன சோ யூ ஹேவ் டு லுக் யூ ஹேவ் டு லுக் இன்டு தி ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் திஸ் கான்ஜியட் பேஸ் டு பிரெடிக் தி அசிடிட்டி சோ லுக்கிங் ஹியர் யூ கேன் see again here you have cl having a minus i effect right this cl is having a minus i effect i am writing it here this chloroacetic acid and its conjugate base chloroacetate this is a conjugate base chloroacetate so what happens here see this cl is withdrawing electron you can see that this is acetate group or carbo carboxylic group when cl is withdrawing then the negative charge here will decrease when the cl withdraws electron density will flow this direction so the negative charge here will diminish so this is another general rule this is number 3 i have told already two points one is minus i effect increase acidity and decrease basicity and plus i effect decrease acidity and increase basicity number 2 stabler the conjugate base stronger the acid number 3 regarding the stability of the conjugate base it is that any factor which reduce or decrease the charge will increase the stability any factor which reduce the charge stabilize the conjugate base this is a negatively charged species due to the cl which is electron withdrawing this negative den charge density will decrease so this become more stable whereas in the case of acetic acid it is the opposite that is acetic acid will give this acetate ion here and we know that methyl group is having a plus i effect this is having a minus i effect this is having a plus i effect so due to plus i effect what is happening this is pumping electrons so what happens to this negative charge on oxygen you will increase right so factor which increase the charge will make it less stable so the point i repeat here this minus i effect of chlorine is reducing the charge here due to electron withdrawal and make this more stable so chloroacetic acid is more acidic here in this acetate ion methyl group is having plus i effect and pumping electrons increase the charge on oxygen so charge increases this become less stable so acetic acid is less acidic so that is how we explain or that is how we compare acidity of aliphatic carboxylic acid right i have given you a few questions uh, for comparing acidity 
I will give the hints you should answer it. Okay, in, uh, before that, uh, I, I can show you again this general thing, uh, this general representation of how you predict acidic, acidity of uh, the groups. If this is an electron withdrawing group, right? If this is an electron withdrawing group, it will stabilize it and corresponding acid will be stronger. If it is electron donating group, it will be electron pumping and it will destabilize it and it will decrease acidity. Okay. So the questions which I have given as, uh, as uh, homework include uh, molecules like the first one is you are given acetic acid and just giving the hints for working it out. Acetic acid, then it is chloroacetic acid, CH2, Cl, COH, then dichloroacetic acid, CH, Cl, 2, COH, and trichloroacetic acid, C, Cl, 3, COH. You have to compare the acidity, you have to arrange them in the order of increasing or decreasing acidity and give reason. I hope you can easily make out. The uh, difference here is minus I group, chlorine, here it is 1, there are 2 chlorine, here 3 chlorine. So more minus I group, it will be more acidic. Because it will stabilize the conjugate base more and more. The next example is CH2FCOH, then CH2ClCOH, CH2BRCOH, and CH2ICOH. What is it here? All these are derivatives of acetic acid. Here it is fluoroacetic acid, chloro, bromine, iodine. What is the difference? Difference is in electronegativity. Electronegativity de decreases from fluorine to chlorine to bromine to iodine. This is most electronegative. So it will have most minus I effect. This will be most acidic and this will be least acidic. You can arrange them in the decreasing order. The next example is CH3, CHCl. COH and CH2Cl CH2COH what is this? this is propanoic acid or propionic acid and here there is chlorine so 2 chloro propanoic acid and this is 3 chloro propanoic acid difference is in the position of chlorine here chlorine is then the second carbon here it is the third carbon chlorine if it is here and withdrawing having minus I effect are in the effect when it is here in this case Korchimuda distend Agumba minus effect diminish you. So here minus effect is less than in this case for this COH group. So this is more acidic. Then finally there is another pair of molecule given formic acid and acetic acid. You know this is formic acid and this is acetic acid which is more acidic and why? See, what's the difference? So, always when you are asked about the acidity, you take the, write the ionization equation and take the conjugate base and talk about its stability. Which is more stable? Here it is plus I effect. Pumping electron increases the charge, destabilize it. Here there is no such effect. So, comparatively, this is more stable. Naturally, corresponding acid will be more acidic. That is, formic acid more acidic than acetic acid okay so that's all in this session we will discuss the next uh, remaining electron displacement effects in the coming classes okay till then bye